peace is forced to take up arms in order to carry out God's justice. A man betrayed by his own brother in a ruthless, bloody quest for power. The story of a people divided by its leaders. And of one man's battle to reunite them. A man of wisdom and courage. Named Solomon. Starring John Carradine as David. Kevin Dobson as Joab. Tom Halleck as Solomon. Stephen Keats as Benayah. Carol Lawrence as Bathsheba. And John Saxon as Adonijah. come a time centuries later when another man was called upon to carry out God's justice. The Israelite people had become twelve tribes unified by David, their king, who now lay near death, his successor unnamed. Meanwhile, the warring Philistines still plagued his people. the king lies dying. Joab bids you return. After I run down Ophel, chief of the Philistines, and cut off his head. Which will it be, prince? The head of Ophel? Or the crown of King David? <laughs> You're right. When next I meet the Philistines, I shall be king of Israel! <laughs> die before he tried to seize my kingdom? My lord, my lord, I ask you to remember the promise you gave me. I gave you no promise. You gave a hundred, thousand, <laughs> whatever it took to have what you wanted. Now it is time for those promises to be met. You must name my son Solomon king of the children of Israel. Shall I name him king? Deliver him into the hands of Adonijah. Rip the land apart. Turn the troll tribes against one another. Is Adonijah wise enough to hold this land together? He is a warrior. We have had our warriors. The times want something else. The writer of verses, a poet. I remember another man who sang his poems to me across the rooftops in the soft evening breeze. That man has long gone from me. The lad who slew Goliath. Are there many outside in the courtyard? Priests, captains, princes of the twelve tribes. They await their king. My throne. Your strength grows dim. Your hand falters. Your tasks are heavy. They are my tasks while yet I live. See otherwise? Treason! I charge you not raise your hand against Adonai. 
I do not ask counsel from the men of Judah. But this is a matter for all the twelve tribes of Israel. And you must listen to us who lead the tribes. Don Aisha's mother was a Judah. We shall not see you or his death. You command me to take the throne? <laughs> You too wish to be king, my son? I wish to be wise, my father. I should like to serve God and the children of Israel. Riches, honors. I have taken the most beautiful women in the world as my wives. I want to walk humbly in the eyes of my Lord and to keep his laws. Not the throne. Let Adonijah have the throne. You heard, my brother. Listen to the voice of the people, David. They cry out for a strong hand, a firm will in their king. You see all that in yourself? <laughs> you did when you made me head of your army. It was my choice, not yours. My wisdom, not your hunger, your greed. Is this how you will rule my people? Both hands outstretched, grasping, grabbing ever for more? It was how you taught me. My head. Not the children of Israel. They need a man of wisdom and patience. Not a brawler and a thief. You will not be king. It is my decree. So, go now with me. Put on my robes. Ride upon my horse. And be anointed. King, what is that? Father, take the kingdom. What you want, what I wish, there is nothing in the eyes of God. It will not be. There shall be peace. No man can set himself above the will of God. Long live King Solomon! Long live King! Long live King! Long live King! Long live the King! Long live the King! Long live the King! My brother, I ask your blessing. You have their blessing, brother. You have no need of mine. <laughs> Stay with me, Benaniah. Do not let them live. They are like knives at your throat. I shall spill no blood. We are done with it. The king has spoken. You will go with me to the sacred spring of Gihon. And there I shall consecrate you, king. <laughs> You shall have a wise and understanding heart. 
If you walk in my ways and keep my commandments, you shall live a long life of untold riches and honors. We're wise to be wary, but an I am. I fear for the peace we know. I looked in vain today for Hesed, prince of the tribe of Judah, and her, the Danite. They love you not, Solomon. They prefer Adonijah. I would change that. We can march into Judah. Three columns of horse archers. A chariot. Shall ride into Judah, Adonijah. But without columns of horse archers and chariots. Just you and I. When you came to us, just one man by your side. But you are not like Adonijah. We honor the way he can ride, draw his bow, use his sword. Do not look for that kind of love from us. A stranger looks for love, not a kinsman. Men of Judah, right like that. That you are not of our I am of all the tribes, I said. I am my father's son, king of all the children of Israel. I come as a stranger to no city in our land. No village, no houses, no tent. I'm truly not here. You are our kinsman. You are of our blood. Come to us, Adonijah, at a time when there is still Philistine blood on your soul. Those days are past, Otho. I come to march with you against Solomon. Against the host of Israel? Against the men of all twelve tribes? Solomon does not command the twelve tribes. And yesterday he did not. Today he does. We do not wish to spend ourselves against so great an enemy. And tomorrow? No one except the gods may answer for tomorrow. What if the tribes turn against Solomon? What if they will not fight at his side? Then you can look to the Philistines for friendship. Very angry. The very walls of the palace would shake with his anger. Do you know whose house this is, Shalomir? I, I, 
I didn't mean to touch your house, Solomon. I mean, Your Majesty. It isn't my house, and I think it's the house of God. Or it's what the house of God would look like. You see, it was the dream of our father, King David, to build a great house of rest for the Ark of the Covenant of our Lord. But the Lord God said to our father, You shall not build a house for my name, because you've been a man of war and have shed blood. Our father was a great warrior. He was, and I think. But he knew he could never see his dream come true. It was a task he left to me. Come. These are the patterns for the porch and the halls and all the buildings for the house of God. In the storeroom are onyx, precious stones, iron and brass. Ten thousand talents of gold. Of the gold of Ophir to overlay the walls and lamps, basins and cups. There is not so much treasure in the whole world. Ah, but there is, little sister. And you shall see it in the house of God. The house which shall be three score cubits in length, twenty cubits in breadth, and over thirty cubits in height. Ah, oh, there's never been a house so huge. Ah, there will be nothing, because it was our father's dream. Now, be off with you. It sounds magnificent. I sail for Tyre tomorrow. King Hiram has promised to cut 10,000 cedars for the walls. Your father would be so proud. I wanted to speak with you, Abishai. If you wish, I could send you back to your people. I could give you a good dowry, servants of your own. You served my father well. I should wish to serve you, King Solomon. Dear Abishai, I'm not an old man. Racked by sickness whose body cries out for warmth. I should still wish to serve you. I should still wish to give you my warmth. Perhaps I too have need of that. I am a man of Issachar. I am a Danite. What matters most? Are you for Adonijah? We have fought in many battles together. They are my men. We must be certain the king returns from Tyre tomorrow. Why should I lie, Joab? The whole city talks of nothing else. And tomorrow we shall give them something better to talk about. Your mother has been searching the palace for you. We've been watching for Solomon. We will all see him soon enough. Abishai, I come from the king. He's returned then. Yes, my lady. He sends for you that you may ride into the city with him. I shall come at once. <laughs> vengeance.
and Adonijah will rule in Israel. Solomon knew Adonijah had planned the attack. The slain men had been from different tribes, which was now to provide Adonijah with a new way to destroy Solomon. The deed is done. I'll send messengers to the princes of all the tribes, especially Judah, Dan, and Ithaca. Write to the Philistines. Tell them we can now guarantee there'll only be six tribes of Israel to fight with Solomon. Where's the man who killed Hopkins? You cannot judge Solomon. He needs you. The Philistines have joined with Adonijah. First, the king must answer to us. The blood of our brothers, our cousins, is on his head. Where is the Lion of Judah? Where is the standard of your tribe, the said? Will it fly over my head if I must face the enemies of Israel? Ask him. Who was of our tribe when you slew him? As you slew the Danite, and the man of Gad, the son of Issachar. I know what I have done in my anger. It's something I cannot call back. It's something I will carry with me through all my life. For the sake of a handmaiden, you spilled our blood. Is a handmaiden so much different than the rest of us? Is she any less in the eyes of the Lord our God? I ask you to put that hurt aside and think of our nation. For the love we bore you in the past, Solomon. We shall not turn against you. But do not look for us if it comes to battle. Do not look for us to raise our swords against Adonijah. He speaks for Gad, for Naphtali, Issachar, Reuben. He speaks for them and for the sons of Dan. He speaks for those who lie here before you. I can speak only for Israel. For all her people. For the children of God. There are some who have come this day to hear my judgment. Your Majesty, is there time? You must take time to do the work of the Lord. Let me know when your scouts return. My Lord, this woman here and I both live in the same house. Ten days ago, I delivered a child. And a day or so later, she had a child, too. Your Majesty, do not listen to this woman. Be patient. You'll have your time to speak. While the night had passed, her child died. She rose and put her dead infant next to me and took my child as her own. Please, do not believe her. I speak the truth. When I woke to feed my son, I found him dead. I looked and he was not my child. I know my own son. She had taken him. It isn't the truth. The child that you see there is mine. Hers died in the night. And now she wants to steal the flesh of my flesh. She must not take him. Please stop her. I have my decision. Captain, draw your sword. Now take the baby and divide it in half. 
Divide it in two, Captain, and give half to each of these women. No! No! You cannot! Give her the child. Let her have him. He's her son, then. You lied to me. I said let her have him. Did I not? What more do you ask? What more do you seek? Nothing. For you've told me all. Put the infant in her arms. He's truly her son. No! She said he wasn't. She said he was mine. You foolish woman. She wanted the child to live. She loved her son so much she was willing to give him up to keep me from killing him. Where was your tongue? Where was your love for the child you coveted? Now go. And pray for forgiveness. Your Majesty, we are running out of time. Adonijah and Joab are marching on the city. We must meet them, my friend. But the Philistine forces badly outnumber us. Opa! How many tribes come with Solomon? I'm in so much. Six banners. For tonight, we'll fly all 12 banners outside our tent. Make her stand here. Your brother has chosen to meet us with the sun at his back shining in our eyes. It'll bleach his bones. They belongs to me. is with my king.
Put on your sword. Don't you hack your empire out of my flesh? I was spared them all, my father. I should have killed you a long time ago. We saw that in the throne room when you passed judgment on those two women. We made our choice then, Solomon. We chose to follow your wisdom. It is not mine, her, but a gift of the Lord's. Once again, the tribes of Israel were united in God's justice serve. Solomon lived to build the Lord's temple and to serve his people with God's wisdom. <laughs>